Cool. So we're talking nationals. Yep. Yeah. The wrap up. The wrap up of nationals. Mm. Jay then I reckon. Wrap up of nationals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. Wrapping up on the national season, 45 nationals mm. all over the world, three weeks of nonstop action. Mm -hmm. um, what were the highlights for you guys? Uh, mine was probably getting down to my local nationals, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. And just uh, on the Saturday, Sunday, and just watching a lot of the new talent come into the game. Mm. Yeah. Uh, people like uh, Ben Dodd and... Marshall Stevenson. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. really sick new players. I think I know it's really hard to pilot that deck, and those guys were playing it very well. Yeah, I remember a game, Ben Dodd versus Matt Rogers was a classic. Oh, was I, I loved the, the way it showcased the power of scale peeler. Mm. It was one of those, like, moments that you're just like, wow, this guy is amazing into this. You know, all they want to do is shove in their equipments. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, scale peeler, just navigating around yep. that. Um but yeah, also Marshall played a really good game against Enigma. And these are, you can, you, you know, if anyone wants to watch these, you can go on the uh, Fab TCG um, YouTube channel, check those, the, all the games are there. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I just want to shout out all the countries that streamed because it's so much effort, but it's just so nice to sit at home, tune in to, uh, you know, we had like between, above 10 countries uh, every single weekend, which was just so amazing, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's so, so much sick. effort. I feel like Alex got a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the first time streaming such an event, right? And it's yeah. just uh, the production behind that is amazing. So, yeah. um, mm. and yeah. of course, was it Swedish Nets that had that yeah. awesome coverage? Like, yeah, yeah, spot yeah. On. It had just the the whole like kind of pop up with the deck list in between games, mm -hmm. talking about the strategy, covering different uh, choices. So yeah, the Swedish one was also- Esports well. style. Could be a precursor yeah. precursor for how we end up in mm. the future. We've, That'd be yeah, awesome. We've come a long way from those early callings where uh, <laughs> it's like, you know, the, 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 home the commentaries brew. are like, <laughs> we have to be very quiet because we're right next to the players. No Wait, that was literally- <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> that, was, that happened this time. Oh no. But, oh no. Yeah. It was actually cool. It was the first Nats I've ever been to. That's yeah. kind of fun oh. fact because I have just, it's always been a something's gotten in the way. Like I first got back into uh, New Zealand mm. where, and I had to quarantine in a hotel during, so, the thing. during Nats and I was like desperate to get out so I could play it, but I just missed it. And then mm. it was always in well and I wasn't, I just was never able to kind of make it work. And this mm -hmm. time I actually got to go and mm. see Nats and it was awesome. Yeah. To mm. see. I still, I, I still haven't been to nationals. You still uh, never been nationals. to a Nats. Oh. So the first New Zealand nationals, I was amped and the date of my firstborn was the same date of nationals. So at that point, change the date. Yeah, sounds like a priority. <laughs> change the date. Yeah. Now, the Just funny induce, thing is, bro, induce. Yeah, Kieran was playing my list, and um, I kind of uh, showed him the power of Rhino, and he took it to the first nationals. Yeah. And I still remember being in the hospital. Baby just got delivered. I'm getting He's a phone like, call from what? Karen. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on, baby, hold on. Oh. It was just like, how do I sideboard into the mirror? I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 just, just go ham, just go ham, just roll scabbies. <laughs> yeah, my partner was not too happy. Uh, about it. No. No, hey, he did top eight, so yeah. there is mm. that. But other than that, other amazing uh, nationals, Canada, Mansand yeah. killed it with that stream. Oh. Shout out to Brody and Ellie for casting Super that good. one. Yeah. yeah, it was really cool. Um, yeah, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia. I was tuning, I was trying to tune into all of them. Mm. Um, yeah, awesome results. And yeah, yeah, Zen coming out on top. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, 14 wins total. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, 14 out of 45, pretty solid effort. And you can just see the power of the deck on the stream mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. new being kind of the new and Victor kind of rose up as kind of the designated counters to, yeah. uh, to Zen. Mm. Yeah. For sure. Um, were there any plays that you guys, any particular plays that you guys were very kind of, uh, impressed by over those three weekends? impressed by probably the scale peeler man yeah, yeah seeing that for the first time and then like getting it explained is like actually this guy is like you know really intelligent because he is stopping the zens from doing exactly what they want to do 
Yeah, it's and not something you'd initially think, oh, I'm going to run this dagger yeah, into yeah, a yeah. because they're all attack actions mm -hmm. and they're, they're, you know, they only have a certain amount of equipment they, they really want to block with. Mm -hmm. But then you're like, oh, yeah, actually it really ruins them on the turn they really want to mm -hmm. block. Yeah. And then the one time that they defended, there's like a siren's call take mm. you on the block. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, Siren's I've, Call actually been a card that has, has really impressed me this mm -hmm. whole season. Like, yeah. just I, I I really like the the seeing the development of the new decks as we've mm -hmm. been going along mm -hmm. as well. Till we get to the final Japanese Nat Savior taking it down on a very defensive new deck as well. Which, mm -hmm. but but still having yeah cards like that 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 really kind of just it's just disruption there's not really much mm -hmm. you can do about it yeah is... and 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 it's not just no i feel like the generic um uh, card pool these days with the weakest link senses yeah. a lot of these cards are starting mm. to really become kind of main deck because of the power of zen mm. that we've seen over the list uh over over nationals um yeah there was i really like the sense it plays especially after siren score i think that was a pretty cool thing where you just look at your opponent's hand um mm. know exactly what they have and then you come in with the sensor with perfect information yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah enigma kind of trying to prey on the victors i feel like enigma was the deck kind of a, the next level above mm. where you have trying to prey on those news and the um the victors as well but mm. uh, we've seen some upsets like um i believe it was in malaysia that uh a victor managed to defeat a full powered enigma yeah. with with mm -hmm. the kind of aura package mm -hmm. and um marshall um and, and the new zealand nationals was a great example of playing against enigma with new and being able to actually stand a chance and actually win the game as well. Yeah. That's yeah. actually something I'm really looking forward to seeing in Amsterdam is whether the ban list will affect the Zen list and mm -hmm. then in turn af uh, affect the new list and then mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. affect the Enigma list because the Enigma list is so teched for Zen right now. Mm -hmm. yep. They're playing so many attack actions, they're going extremely aggro. Yeah. I'm just wondering like, because you have to lose a lot of percentage points in your other matchups to make sure your Zen matchup yeah. is even like 10, 20%. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm curious to see if things will change and the Enigma list will kind of yeah. just yeah. vary a little bit. Yeah, the one awesome thing I saw Enigmas do against Zen specifically was the arms. Mm. You know, mm. Uphold Tradition is like so powerful with the manifestations of Mariah Guy, yeah. et cetera, giving your aura go again. Mm. And they were playing the Aqua... Aquamarine. Uh, yeah, Waves yeah. of Aquamarine. Is it? Oh, no, I can't remember the exact name, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The plus one on the CNC, plus one on a weakest just, link. Yeah, I wanted the person who had that first done to them. Wait, they're just... Because they're just, cause they're, there's a certain <laughs> kind of pattern your mind gets into once you've seen a card flipped yeah. up a certain number of times mm -hmm. and it is a specific card. Yeah. You just forget that there's any other options available and they're like, wait, no, what? That's not a aura. You can't... Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, I think it's, uh, for me, it's like the, the perfect, um, I'm just glad that the uh, cloaked uh, equipment got used and, and the, it actually has that element of surprise. Exactly, you don't actually yeah. know um, what mm -hmm. they're doing. And I think the Enigma players really use that well. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys think about, maybe Cal, do you think the ban list is going to affect Zen much? I mean, it's got to, obviously. Um, the, but I think that it's not going to kill the deck by any means, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's, well, there's mm -hmm. already people adapting and finding, you know, new ways to kind of push it maybe a little bit more, kind of focused on some of the Tiger Synergy stuff, mm -hmm. a little bit more into the Tiger Swipes and the, you know, other things like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think you, you're definitely losing a lot. Those 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 bonds lines were just a bit dirty when you would <laughs> get like full power, like you just see, I mean, we saw it, time and time again and a lot of this coverage like mm -hmm. you just get these combat chains that were just stupid wide mm -hmm. and a lot of the time it felt like yes there are ways to combat zen and yes there are ways to like attack the deck on a lot of different axes but they can still just dumb roll you just and just blast get, you. yeah like so yeah. it's it's kind of nice to just pull just tone down mm -hmm. the the ceiling a little bit mm -hmm. um and yeah, I think it sets a kind of cool precedent, something that we haven't done before, just banning certain colors. Mm -hmm. um, because yeah, anytime decks are running like 
nine of a card, you know, in some lists, then then you go, okay, well, maybe this card does need to just yeah. be looked at, but you don't want to take the card away completely because it is a cool option. So, mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's cool, and it's something that we can, you know, potentially use in the future if that becomes an issue. And, and I like to see the creativity, um, and, and I like... Yeah, just because the ban list is something that, that should be viewed as, as a tool to kind of shape a meta mm -hmm. rather than just something that's like, oh, people are complaining about this card. It has to be gotten rid of kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think it's it's been kind of... I, I, I personally feel like it's going to trim the power level mm -hmm. of the deck a little bit, maybe mm -hmm. stop those... Um, some of the explosive turns, the frequency of them a little bit mm -hmm. as well. I, I personally believe it's still going to be probably the best deck in the format. Yeah. And, but it gives kind of less of an incentive. I feel like a lot of top players, especially wouldn't, weren't very keen on the mirror. You're playing this powerful deck, but you have to play against the mirror, which can be very mm. um, snowball-y. So hopefully this trimming down gives kind of more options for for. To, to pick a deck for, mm. for yeah. Pro Tour Amsterdam. Yeah, I mean, you know, you say it's going to be the best deck, but after July 12th, <laughs> is it really? Is it really? Yeah, I feel like we should talk about the, the, the rogue decks. The the rogue deck. Rogue deck. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, go on. So, July 12th. I mean, if you've been watching the channel at all, you'll be seeing I've been doing some videos with the uh, Bolton Armory deck mm. that is uh, dropping soon. Uh, and uh, smash me on KO, my boy. <laughs> well, <Wow. laughs> I don't know about smash you. You just got unlucky on the knuckle hit. Like, <laughs> if you rolled a six there, I was done. <laughs> but yeah, I you know Bolton's. Or oh, it's no secret that he's my favorite hero, and mm. uh, he's long been kind of languishing in those kind of tier two, um, rogue in that rogue deck uh, kind of mm. thing. And you know, if I may drink a little copium for for a second, I think that that with the tools that he's about to get there's a possibility that he could be relatively well positioned. Mm -hmm. Now look, he's not good against Zen still, unless you get some serious kind of, um, you know, disruption in there. And that's the, the fun thing is that I think you can, there's definitely ways you can put in powerful generic cards in Bolton and make them even more powerful because of his hero ability and stuff. Mm -hmm. CNCs, amnesias, sensors, whatever, that can all go right in there and mm -hmm. help you out in that matchup. And I think that there's definitely, you know, if the meta develops in a way, in a specific way, maybe a very specific way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the copium. Uh, it's like a hit of that copium. Uh, he's he's going to be he's gonna be a good option, man. Because, like, you look at a, a deck like Nu that's becoming really, really popular, and, and rightly so, He's he's got such a good defensive suite. He's got so many mm -hmm. cool defense reactions. About to receive another really, really good option with Saving Grace, and... Mm -hmm. And so he can kind of, yeah, shut down a lot of what New's trying to do. And he can grind really well with mm. a lot of that. And, you know, New doesn't want to block. Uh, you know, nobody mm. wants to block his attacks, really. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, I think that, you know, uh, you know, I'm putting the, putting the throw in the gauntlet down, putting the challenge sure. out there. I feel like everyone's kind of obsessing over the chess, but you play the other pieces, right? I, so this is the thing. And look, look, don't get me wrong. The chest is a really cool option for lots of different cards. I mean, there's people already talking about Art of Wars, Tome of Finals, and, and all, all kinds of spicy things that you can do mm -hmm. with that new chest. The chest slot in Bolton is very like contested. I mean, you've got... Soul, and Soulbound Resolve is also another card that's going to get massively amped up by the new uh, equipment. Mm. I'm a I'm a Finals Spring Tunic truther from way back. You know, I think that mm -hmm. that card is, is kind of integral to the way I personally play Bolton, mm -hmm. using that, that resource kind of playing on, off, every few turns getting to do a big turn with a V or a take flight or, or something like that. Um, and it's kind of too integral for me to, to give up to play something mm. like a, you know, the new solar plexus to, to get a big turn. But I, I really like the other pieces mm -hmm. because it just provides you mm. these ways. They're really skill testing, but they give you that, that, defensive option and when you pair them with the new saving grace it can get really really juicy because you all of a sudden you can have a card in your arsenal say it's like a bolt of courage or something and you're like oh my turn is it doesn't look that good unless i can get a quicken or a courage so you're like okay i can use the arms mm -hmm. get that courage 
then I um, then I use a saving grace. I've blocked seven. I've kept cards in my hand, mm-hmm. and now my uh, you know a bolt of courage has a courage token that can allow me to give it go again to make mm-hmm. it a lot more threatening. All that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it, it, they are skill testing, and it takes a kind of good player, probably somebody a lot better than me, to actually make it work. But th- there's yeah, I like I like running tunic and all the rest of mm-hmm. the. Uh, mm-hmm you know, the, the, the learner's grace, kind of the grace equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. And there, there's just, but yeah, I like the, the options that there, there, there are now, especially defensively. And yeah, it's, Maybe I think it's should be excited. A, yeah. A task yeah. for the Bolton boys, Ellie, <laughs> looking at you. Yeah. 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 Let's see how, how the Bolton fans can do. Yeah. And, uh, and it's cool also to see, you know, I got to shout out the, I can't remember the player name, but the Bolton that, that was playing the great axe as well. There's like, you know, there's, there's, <laughs> there's all sorts of things. you can Yeah. Do. Yeah. Um, and, and lots of kind of exciting. Honestly. And, and yeah. And, and the calling, uh, Warsaw, the Italian team, the emperors were, a lot of them were ramping Bolton, uh, decimated Bolton mm, and it yeah. looked, looked scary. Like yeah. they were beating Kano's, they were beating all, all kinds of decks. So it's wild. Yeah. But, uh, Jason, do you have any decks that you feel are going to be on the rise for this next season? Oh, the, the, I'm coming into the pro tour. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that Enigma will finally <laughs> see her day, um, mm. as a tier one ish, ish deck. Um, but I think that actually, I think Kano mm. is going to get a little bit of a surge, pun not intended. Um, <laughs> they, um, just because his toughest matchup was getting blasted by Zen, basically, and his, yeah. his ceiling's been toned down. So maybe he can uh, come out to play a little bit. Yeah. And we've seen Enigma, like th- there's been a lot of Enigma Zen games even that have been super close. Uh, I remember watching mm-hmm. um, Elliot in Singapore and the yeah. finals getting so close. Yeah. Shout out to to Elliot. Um, and uh, is it Chu Eng? Uh, I believe it was. There was a. I think it was um, it dubbed the best player in Singapore. Um, <sighs> yeah. He's. I watched his game as well. Enigma versus Zen. And and you know these Enigma specialists were getting super close. It's in that so game. close. It's so close. Yeah. It's it's like it's it's just like one of those things where a couple of things change and then all of a sudden the results are wildly different. Mm-hmm. And you know we're not talking about certain heroes as much. And mm-hmm. that's just kind of how it rolls. Like like you were talking about earlier, the the Azuri that came so close to winning Japanese mm-hmm. Nats and like. Oh, you know, so unlucky. New, new is a is a great great hero, and and obviously the new kid on the block and super exciting. But Azuri's still got so much going for mm-hmm. her. And it's just a different kind of disruption. Yeah, exactly. And but there's there's also a lot of things that she can do that New can't do, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. And and it, I, I'm you know I'm always always uh, a big proponent of the kind of surprise factor and bringing stuff to a tournament where your opponent has to like read your cards and kind of remind themselves. So they're just yeah, getting them yeah, off yeah. their that, axis a little yeah, bit mm, because, edge, uh, you know, maybe that's just because I want to look flash, but like it's, you know, you, I think that you can really, if you, this is a game that rewards like knowing a specific hero inside out and having played with it for a long mm-hmm. time. And, you know, that, that, that's really cool to see like, hero specialists yeah. and stuff yeah, come through definitely for, for me i i still feel like dash is a great mm. choice mm-hmm. um Send she her did off. really yeah. well and 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 the national season yeah. um i know dr dan mckay winning new zealand nationals yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, um and, and i believe he's a testing partner with hayden dale and hayden took it to a top four finish in mm-hmm. australia as well and it is one of those digs that has can really punish the reliance of Zen on the equipment suite because mm-hmm. of the T bones, etc. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. kind of, it's just such an all rounder. Mm-hmm. Like it's, exactly, you can build Dash in so many ways these days. From aggro Honeybee Blaster, starting with that Teclo Pounder and Pistol, uh, you can start with a Chamber and to, and more grindy matchups. Mm-hmm. Um, so many ways to build it, and it is one of those decks that kind of you sit across from, and you see your opponent flip dash, and you have no idea what they're gonna do. Mm. Are, you, are they gonna go aggro? Are yeah. How do you go How do you how do you put your what do you what equipment do you play? All yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's just consistent, right? All your cards do the same thing, and they're all pretty above rate. Yeah. 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 
and it is one of these things. If they go first and they drop another item on the very first turn, oh god, yeah, you already start. There's huge to... high roll potential, right? Yeah, yeah mm. absolutely. Yeah, and that's even even not just even with the items, but also just like what they boost like that's kind of the the fun thing about it but mm -hmm. yeah definitely it's not just spike potential though it feels it it's like relatively you can build it and play it in a way mm -hmm. that, that that makes it feel very consistent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we've seen dash io take out oh. two nationals i'm i'm a massive dash io yeah, fan so. so i'm glad to see mm -hmm. uh see her pop up there as well any other decks that you guys think should be on people's radar <sighs> just don't forget about Decks like Azalea, yeah, they can just Azalea. pop up and just kill you. Honestly, Livia as well. Like, oh um, yeah, like that. I've seen, you know, there's, and and you know, there's the results are, are kind of telling as well. There's the Dorinthia still around. Like mm -hmm. again, yeah, forget about it. There's so much. There's such a wide kind of um, mm. selection of decks that people can bring, and it's that's what's so great about it. You never really know. You, like, yes, you can practice against Zen and Nu and all these new heroes as much as you like, but and it's obviously good to have the plan against them, but what mm -hmm. are you going to do when you sit around and turn the opposite you? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's also, I feel like there's um, been a lot of games that we saw um, the kind of control warrior, whether it was, uh, and on the US uh, nationals, we saw like a bolt, uh, Bolton with hatchets or like mm -hmm. the hatchets, Dorinthias and stuff. Those were mm -hmm. actually getting kind of close against into fatiguing Zens. I wonder mm -hmm. if the, the, the ban list might trim it a little yeah. bit mm -hmm. and help them get there. Um, so yeah, super excited to see what happens after this national season. We're coming towards uh, Pro Tour Amsterdam. There's, a, it's not just a Pro Tour there's going to be a classic constructed calling mm -hmm. 30k up for grabs there 200k in the pro tour uh battle hardened with living legend so if you mm. love those old heroes that have uh reached living legends you can play those as well mm. but also there's um we're doing a lot of road to amsterdam events so if you're in the area even this weekend mm -hmm. coming up um, all the way up to Pro Tour Amsterdam, we're going to see a lot of events that you can bring people to learn to play. There's lots of giveaways. Mm -hmm. There's lots of uh, prizes there, which is really awesome. Special to see. promos. Yeah. There's a yeah. there's an article on the Fab TCG website if you guys want to check that out. Mm -hmm. It's titled Road to Amsterdam, mm -hmm. and the events are running from July 10 to July 20. So, if you're there for a break beforehand, just mm -hmm. stop on by and. Bring a friend, teach yeah. them how to play, get some promos. Yeah. Yeah. And there will be a few uh, Battle Hardens coming up as well. Um, so we might see a little bit of a sneak peek into s this new f refreshed metagame just mm -hmm. before the Pro Tour. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to see all that. Um, yeah. Pretty jealous I'm not in Amsterdam, to be honest. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it'll be a fun time. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. If, if, if you're there, walk up to Karen and Brian and just ask <laughs> yeah. them. <laughs> the the hardest questions you, you can about the game just give them a yeah. bit of a hard time yeah. Yeah. yeah you have what two weeks to start preparing your questions yeah, yeah. so get to it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right we'll be tuning in from the pro tour next time so keep your eyes peeled on that one we'll see you then cheers see ya